him. He bailed on us when we went camping because he got crooked and then he's just passed it all on to us out of spite. We're going, we're going to go and see if we can chase some jacks. Um, it's pretty neepish tides today, but we're going to go and see if the water's cleared up a little bit. Uh, we're going to do a bit of everything as normal. Um, deep soft plastics, weedless soft plastics, hard bodies and just see if we can find some fish. So the weather forecast is shocking. It's supposed to be 15, 18 knots again, but we're gonna go somewhere. So we'll see what we can find. Going is the only option for us. Hey. That was a jack. <laughs> Isaac was just getting a tangle out of his reel. And he got smashed on his popper. <coughs> Talk about this sort of stuff quite a bit where you've got um, no structure. Like, so when the tide's up high, all them snags there hold fish. But when the tide's down, apart from your little loan every now and then you'll see little bits of structure, those fish have got to come down and they're feeding on the flats quite often. So there's no structure, but we're sort of, we're sort of just covering water real quick to see if there's any jacks that are um, sitting out in the open waiting for that tide to come back in. And the other thing is too, when you're doing this sort of stuff, you've got to keep an eye on your lure as you're coming back. Like if you're wandering back fast to go for another cast, always watch your lure and if there's a bow wave, that's how Tatum just got that last queenie. There's a bow wave chasing me luring. Uh, over that log. Uh -huh. Nothing. Yeah, bear wave on Isaacs. Oh, spot. Oh, he's still on it. That's a joke. Got him? <laughs> I just let it sit. Yeah. Queenie, is it? Yeah. Oh, bugger. See if there's anything else on that. A seven inch. Wait. Hmm. What lure is that on? Uh, sugar splash. Sugar splash. Little follow. That's on your real light rod, is it? Yeah. There's something at the mouth of that drain up there. Yeah. These little splashes, these little sugar splashes, are a little prawn imitation. They work really well when the water's calm like this because they're a pretty subtle presentation, but barrows and jacks smash them. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> it? Hey. You would just stop and let it sit, did you? No. Mm -hmm. I it, I stopped it, as soon as I started it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking I'll put an 80mm rooster popper on in. What do you got on, Tanner? Canine. Atomic canine. So this is a different surface lure again. So this one's this one's a little walk the dog stick bait type. They're both using their lighter outfits, so it's a proper good hit that one. I reckon that's a big jack. Big tarp or something there behind us. Yeah, it's got teeth marks in it. Jackarini. Water temperatures dropped three degrees in about 600 metres. So, I don't know why or how or any of that, but that's definitely not ideal. That's a pretty short distance to be that much comparison. Where? 
Oh, on yours. What's that? Big bear. Uh huh. Mm. Oh. And, <laughs> got him? <laughs> Jack? Yeah, I think so. Little fella. <laughs> He's red. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Miss Dean. Oh, he's coming back. Oh! A bit bigger, or? A little bit bigger. <laughs> oh, he's on it. Up with him. Is he legal or? He'd be bloody. Oh. He's legal. Oh. Let it sit for a second, Jose. My pop is a bit big for me. Same to the boys, his new rod. This new refraction. It's like this, this extra weight down the back here acts as like a counterbalance when you cast them. Sort of smooths everything down, like. You get a bite. Oh, you can see the mud swirl. Oh, that's a big queenie. Oi, looky, looky. Look, look, look at him. Look at him. Don't eat it, just look at him. <laughs> oh, no. Up in there somewhere. Oh, yep. Baby bear. Feed through it. It's good, it saves me getting spiked. Hey. It's good, it saves me getting spiked. Oh, oh. There he is. Yeah. No, it's a different fish. Oh. Yeah, the other ones were big. Yeah. yeah. Now, if it's too big, tell them don't try and lift it, okay? If it's too big, don't... If, it's, uh, if we can get under them, there should be finger mark or barrows. Well, there's a couple of fish out there to the left. Only small one. So we're going to go to a motor oil, UV glow motor oil with orange head. See if we can pick up something down deep. But I've got to try and get through these tarp and there's just literally hundreds of big tarp on the surface here in front of us. So I want to get past them. Oh god, monster tarp and he <laughs> dropped him. Oh dear. They're all yours. <laughs> oh dear. He's not a baby. He's just not as big as some of the ones that were in there. Yeah. I just made the quickest rig. Bloody good oh. barrister. Oh. Good barrister, but it's covered in bloody tarp. And where are you going then? He come along. Did he follow you out from the stand or? Wow. Oh, radio had your rooster. He did. It was strange, isn't it? They're following them out like halfway to the boat before they're hitting them. They're good solid bites. How are they missing the hook? Like they're thumping it, like they're proper. Yeah. Oh, I'm snagged. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. He's on it. He's on it. Yep. They're bears, are they? Oh, no, they're all jacks. Wow. Like jacks I'm out of action. I've got a snag on the first cast. So. Yep. Oi, you got him. Jack? Um, yep. It's a nice Jack. Nice little Jack. Uh, yeah, I am. I just can't oh, lift it. Very good. Jack? I think it's a jack. Nice jack. Yeah, you got that? Yes, please. Here's your legally one, mate. <coughs> Two one. Photo, photo fish. Yeah. Turn them, can you get a photo of that for me, please? Yeah. Oh, oh. I wish I brought me a little light spin rod now. Yeah. Oh, got him! That's a big fish. That, that's a really nice fish. I'm going to spot lock him out here, mate. Grab that net ready, Tanner. It might be a good one. Don't know. It's, really it's a bit nice. fast, isn't it? I like that one. There. Oh, oh dropped him! <laughs> oh. What's mine, little Jack? Yeah, hey, where was that? Heard it. Up under there. Somewhere. You on the bottom? Yeah, hit the bottom. Got two twitches out of it and slammed it. Yep. Oh, what the hell? You put a bit more drag on it, but. this one. Oh, oh. Damn. Hmm? Oh, no, what a shame. Mm. It wasn't the same as the first two though. They weren't caught. I'm loving this ride, eh? Every little thing through it. Look. Oh, on Jack. I don't know. Fighting like a cod. Yeah, cod. Cod? No. no. Fish is a fish is a fish. But it's a cod. Oh, cod brothers, eh? <laughs> yeah, that was the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He's a decent one. <laughs> Jesus, don't... Oi! Black GT, did you see? Black one? Yep. No. Look at the swirls. Oh, what is that? Bloody big. Yeah, a bit bigger than that one Bullfed's got. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm using a, um, a pretty heavy jig head and I'm trying to work it fast down the contours of the bank here while Tannum and Isaac are fishing the snags. <coughs> They're having a competition. They're having an old faithful competition, their favourite old lures versus each other so what are you using electric chicken why is that yeah no, i'm using radio and tanum's using um radioactive rooster so and i'm using that uv motor oil but i'm going for a different approach altogether so some of the fish that we've been hitting have been down deep so i want to see if that's going to form a consistent pattern mm. that's the other thing i'm not relying on the side skin to predict where i'm fishing down deep the side skin is only showing like 
yeah, what's out sort of in the deeper water. So I'm not going to show those fish that are like sitting right up clad against the bank like that and on those contours. So the sound is just on for the heck of it. This absolutely shits us. You find, and it happens all the time, you find a really good snag, you consistently go and catch fish on. And then the netters come along and they'll put a net around the whole snag with their boat in the middle and they'll ram the snag, snap all the snag off, destroy the snag and scare the fish out into the nets. It's called plonking. Everyone knows they do it. It's a shit thing because, I mean, the, the snag is just destroyed and there is a, apparently a law against uh, destructing native uh, or natural snags and structures, so habitat destruction, so I wish they'd catch the bastards who do it. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, <laughs> not a tarp and it's a GT. God, look at the sounder. If you ever want to teach a kid how to lure, lure fish and fight a fish properly, these are probably one of the most acrobatic, spectacular fighting fish. There's millions of them around. Great fish to teach uh, kids how to, how to lure fish in salt water. <laughs> At some stage, nearly every colour has been old faithful. So there's some jacks along here anyway. As Tunham caught that little one back there, I hit another one at the same time. So, But we're further up the system and our general rule of thumb in the neap tides, we tend to fish more towards the front of the system. So this is sort of going against our normal theory, but the wind out the front's insane, so we ain't doing that. There's two that I've seen anyway. Yeah. Grab that net. Bloody hell. Oh, no, he's not as big as I thought. He's a good one, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. You get a photo of that bugger, eh? He could flood it. We'll let this bugger go, eh? Did your mum eat flood it? I think it is a cod. No, I can see. Come on, swim off there. Come on. Come on. Get off there. There's a queenie or something. Got him? Get him out? Get him out. Holy red. Yeah, he's, he's not a bad jack. Holy red. Mm. You gotta be a bear on that, you reckon. Yeah, big. Okay. Anyway. Little one. Plastic's all twisted up, manky. 
Oi, little pikey. Little pikey chased it out. Little pikey chased it out. I teabagged it, and as I pulled it out of the water, it <laughs> came up and went <laughs> and missed it completely. Prongage. Show me the point again. I reckon 31. Yep. Oh. You know what I think, I think. Was that next cast? What did you say, sorry, Dad? Was that next cast? Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely. They've definitely picked up in the last half hour. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh that's oh, not. Yeah. Pike chasing his lure in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> got another one there, isn't it? Yeah. Oi, you seen that one? That's a good jack. Let's get that net ready, mate. Yeah. Cracker. Oh, no. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, it's not a big enough no. to Good fish though. He'd be 40, 41, wouldn't he? 41, 40, no, he'd be 42. What's your biggest? 42 and a quarter. <laughs> 57, 58. Dead. Oi! That's not good. Oh, dropped him. Here's 40 or so, that one, but... Oh, there's another one with him too. That's a, mate, that, that thing was huge. Yeah, the one that was with him, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus. What? <laughs> there you go, you're reserving fish now. Photo of oh, that fish, tell him. What? Oh. Oi, oi. oh, look at the size of that. That'd be the big one. Oh, he'd have been 50. Oi, there's a pikey sitting on it now. Oi, oi, oi. No, not huge, but a good one. Yep. Oh, yeah, no, good one. Thank you. They're, they're working up, they just work through there perfect and not a look. Okay. Net, Isaac, real yeah, quick. Please. Can you get him out? Yeah. Can you get him out? What is that? You just scared the hell out of a Trevally. Got him. That's a big jack. Yes! That's a that's a cracking jack, mate. Yes! That's a good photo fish. How big do you reckon? Oh, I don't know. Something better for me, please. What? 48. Oh. 
Is that your PB? My PB is 49 and a half. All right, last cast, hang on. All right, let's make a move. 